Okay, we've only got eight short minutes to burn belly fat and tone our abs. So we're going to use dumbbell weights and I have selected two weights for this workout and I recommend you do too. I'm using a three kilogram and a five kilogram because some exercises we can easily handle more weight. So grab some weights, a couple of different sizes. And if you're an absolute beginner, I recommend that you do this workout first, master that, and then tack this one onto the end of it. And then you have a 16 minute perfect ab workout that you can do a couple of times a week. I've also included a couple of modifications because some exercises are challenging, but they're so doable. Start with the weight. If the weight gets too heavy for you, drop it and continue. I am so excited. Let's get started. Raise your dumbbell above your head, engage your core muscles and raise your knee. We're going to crunch in as we raise the knee and focus in on keeping your arms upright without dropping them. We have a 15 second rest and next up hold the dumbbell to the front of the body and then raise the knee to touch the dumbbell. And these standing ab workouts really work the whole body by engaging the legs, the glutes, the upper body and the hip flexors, making them more functional and holistic. Next up we're doing around the world and for this exercise you can choose a heavier weight because you'll be able to handle it. As you pass the weight around your body, engage your core, engage your glutes, engage your leg and then halfway through we're going to swap sides. You're doing great. Next up, we're going to bring the dumbbells out to the front, turn to the right, left, center, and down. Keep your core engaged the whole time. Hold your belly button in towards your spine and keep your back straight. Next up, we're going to do a standing Russian twist. So engage your core and then take your dumbbell from side to side. We're working the lower abs and the obliques. Plus we're doing life. We're getting involved. We're getting fit. We're getting healthy. We're getting strong and we're taking action. You are amazing. Keep going.
Next up, hinge at the hips and with a straight back, lower your body down and up again. And holding your dumbbell out to the front is going to require your core muscles to activate and it helps protect and stabilize the lower back. So the core wraps around the whole body, including the lower back. And this exercise targets both. Next up, we're going to hold the weight in the left hand and then we're going to raise the right knee to touch the weight. Engage your core and lift your knee using your abdominal muscles. And for this one, use a lighter weight if you're just starting because it's going to burn. It's challenging but very doable. You've got this. You are on fire. We have one to go. We're going to change sides and use the modified option if you need. Either way, you are a star, you are fabulous, and you've got this. Take this opportunity to say three things out loud that you're grateful for. Well done, how did you go? Let me know in the comments below if on that last exercise it was challenging for you because we're using our arms and our abs and it's a lot. And also let me know if that was easy for you. And if it was easy for you, you need to up the weights. If you've still got some more energy and wanna do some more work on your abs to burn belly fat and get fit, choose this workout next. And if you'd like to know how to put all of my workouts together, choose a 14 day challenge. You're gonna love it, so many people do. Thank you so much for working out with me today. You are amazing and I'll see you tomorrow.